Hey guys, today I'm just going to be brutally honest with you about uh, Magic the Gathering boxes. They are not worth buying. Modern Horizons 3 is not worth buying. Um, if you do want to open, you know, older, older boxes, they are very readily available on eBay, TCG Player, Card Kingdom, any, any, David Adams is always having a massive sale, right? So instead of buying one collector's box of Modern Mass Modern Horizons free, we can buy uh, easily. We can easily buy um, multiple vintage quote vintage boxes, right? And they would be a better deal. So if you do have the urge to buy boxes just because you like pulling and you don't mind losing money, because you will lose money on boxes, I can prove it to you. I can prove it to you in one simple statement. Uh, Ten years ago, every game store did a uh, box openings. They did these box openings, mass, they were called mass box openings. And game stores would, even not on YouTube, right? Uh, my local game store would open half the inventory, maybe 20, 30 cases, right? Um... I think uh, in, in that reality, that's a lot of boxes, but they're opening these boxes because the expected value, especially upon release, is actually higher, is higher than the value, than the distributor cost. Now, is it higher than the retail cost? Absolutely not. The retail is always going to be higher. So the expected value is going to be lower than the retail, but higher than the distributor, and that's what your margin is. Uh, in fact, one of the biggest box openers we know of was Alpha Investments. One of the, that's how he got started in Magic: The Gathering. I think a lot of people don't uh, really know that or remember that, but he had a giant eBay store, and he used to rip open tons of boxes and sell these singles. That was how he came to actually be. Uh, he wasn't selling Patreon. He didn't have Patreon then. He wasn't selling seal boxes. Eventually, he realized that selling seal boxes to Timmy and having them take the L for him while he's able to record the video was uh, much more profitable long term for him. And that's what he did. And then he also got into, of course, you know, my favorite game, Meta Zoo. Just, uh, you know, milk. I'm trying to uh, do less alpha investment. I think the people who know, know about him the people who are still believers of him nothing i can do or say will ever have any impact on uh their their timmy beliefs right so again uh these booster boxes very affordable i saw returned around the cup for under 100 and a big box retailer and these collector boxes i mean are still pretty i mean front of the al duran is supposedly the first one of them and it's only 190 and they only want to buy one, which tells me it's probably, you can probably get it locally for 200 Now, if, as long as locally you have a good reputation and you pay more than Card Kingdom, there are plenty of people who want to sell to you at Card Kingdom, at least for me, speaking for myself, at Card Kingdom prices for boxes, especially boxes. Now, what does this mean? Uh, why am I making this video? Because you don't need to buy this box. I know, it's very shocking. I'm telling you something that you can buy singles. That's it. No one needs to be subscribed to a Patreon that just sells in boxes. You can buy singles from, I don't know, your local game store. Even if the singles at your local game store are expensive, I promise you. I promise you, right? Um, that they are going to be cheaper they will be cheaper, uh, not just a little cheaper, a lot cheaper than buying a box and hoping you pull the card that you need. This is a really, really, um, I guess, degenerate thing. The only people who are going to buy this type of stuff are, they're not game store owners. And again, let me, let me prove to you exactly this. No one does max box openings from a game store perspective anymore. Ten years ago, everyone did it. Five years ago, some people did it. They opened hundreds, if not thousands, of booster boxes. They sort them out, and they tried to sell these singles. 
they don't do it because the expected value of these boxes, especially for something like Modern Horizon 3, is just so bad. Like, it's not even close to being uh, reasonable um, in terms of... Like, if you buy a box of $504, hopefully the EV is 400 at least, but the EV here is like 300 I predict it will be 300 and the buy list will be 50% of that or, or less. You're talking about $150. Yeah, as a regular box. All right. I give you, I mean, it's probably okay. But as a special box, no way in hell. No way in hell. And, you know, I, I look at this and, and you really have to, um, you really have to be honest with yourself, right? Um, you really have to be honest with yourself. If you have this type of money, is it better to spend it on your family? Is it better to take a vacation? Is it better to like even spend it on a different card game? Right? Does it really make sense that um five that that you would spend this type of money on Magic Gathering? I, I don't think so. I think it's too much. And you might beg, who is the player base buying this product? It's the Alpha Investment Timmy. He's, he's able to sell them $700 MetaZoo mystery boxes, $82,000. Yes, and I truly mean that $82,000. Oh, sorry, $8,200 um, MetaZoo boxes. I think it's um, bizarre. Right, I think it's bizarre, right? And but obviously there's a market for it. Like for me, like if I if I had a person and they spent seven hundred dollars on a mystery box, I would hope the mystery box would at least have five hundred, a minimal four hundred dollars, maybe like a window. I mean, I I would hope that it would actually have some value in it. But people are so desensitized, right? Because they continue to make so much money from this that. They're willing to buy it. I mean, it's just crazy how much money people are willing to lose for their games. And whatever audience... Um, also, Alpha Investment supposedly did a QA. and a I have a question for him, right? I think I left him a question. I don't know if I'm blocked, but I left him a question for his free 169,000 Q&A. Uh, he hasn't responded to it um, because he hasn't done the Q&A because he has less subscribers now. Which is bizarre, right? But it kind of shows you that the era of the free tendies is definitely over. There ain't no free tendies to see, save you no more. I promise you that. The free tendies is over. And um, we'll see. We'll see uh, the eventual outcome. But I'm not too positive for Magic the Gathering.